Alexandra and Holly are here today to be married. We're all here to witness their marriage, share in their happiness and make this a really memorable day for them. Who gives the bride's hand in marriage? Thank you. <laughs> marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Are you, Alexander James Gaynor, free lawfully to marry Holly Jane Baker? I am. Thank you. Are you, Holly Jane Baker, free lawfully to marry Alexander James Gaynor? It is a promise from each of you to always treat one another with respect and affection and to never forget that your marriage is a continuing celebration of the love that you have today. Marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, Alexander, do you take Holly to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Holly, do you take Alexander to be your lawful wedded husband? husband. Alexander and Holly, you have declared yourselves free and willing to marry. You're now going to make your formal vow of marriage and promise to one another. Alexander, if you could please repeat after me. I, Alexander James Gaynor. I, Alexander James Gaynor. Take you, Holly Jane Baker. Take you, Holly Jane Baker. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Holly, if you could please repeat after me. I, Holly Jane Baker. I, Holly Jane Baker. Take you, Alexander James Gaynor. <laughs> Take you, Alexander James Gaynor. <laughs> to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Thank you. We now come to the exchange of your rings. Conrad, could you please step forward with the rings? And repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And the commitment we are making. And the commitment that we are making. To each other. To each other. Lovely. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And the commitment. And the commitment. We are making to we're each making other. We are making to each other. You're almost married. <laughs> Alexander and Holly, you have both made the declarations required by the law and you've made your own solemn promise to one another. May you always love, honour and cherish one another. May no failure or misfortune ever part you both and may you live a full and rich life alongside together. It is my great pleasure to say that you are now husband and wife. Alexander, you may kiss your bride. My name is Leo Reck from uh, St. Paul, Minnesota in the United States. Alex is my grandson. I am a retired Baptist minister and I'm happy to be able to have a part in the union of Alex and Holly today and to also to give you some words from the Word of God. First of all, God is absolutely sovereign and he does things in ways that we may not understand nor anticipate. Certainly that is the case in the way that he brought Alex and Holly together. TikTok responses kept bringing them back together as Alex would explore it and, and Holly would see his name and and somehow or other, the TikTok, I think, was trying to link them up in some way. And so their relationship began. I'm telling you that that's a God thing. That God, in his sovereign way, brought them together. I know the Lord is great. That our Lord is above all so-called gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and on earth, 
in the seas, and in all the deeps. He it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth, and makes the lightnings for the rain, and brings forth the wind from its storehouses. Somehow or other, it was God who was at work to bring Alex and Holly together. God is interested in Alex and Holly, in their life together, their welfare, their future, their love. And he is interested in you as well. These two disparate families from Great Britain and the United States to come together to be linked. And you, who are friends and relatives, God has brought you to this moment as well, himself. It is he who has prepared the way by which we all may have light and life and happiness. Would you join me, please, in prayer? Our God and Father, through the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask your blessing upon this man, Alex, and this woman, Holly, as they have now committed themselves to marriage to one another. We pray for your steadfast blessing upon them. Give them grace, give them joy, give them happiness, and give us all a wonderful time of celebration in the hours to come as we complete this ceremony. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. To be falling for you Cause I've heard of things like this before But didn't know the dream still came true Who gets to say we're not right That it won't work you and I Cause as long as it's worth fighting for in our eyes we should be fine So what if we only just met True love, don't wait for any man And no one tells us what we can or can't do Darling, I know that I'm in love with you We'll just forget what they say No use trying to explain If they only knew the way we feel This would all go away Let's get out of this Start a life somewhere else Find a place where we can finally breathe And just act like ourselves Oh, so what?
then Alex's special day. None of us saw this one coming, did we? No. We really didn't. It's been a hectic few months, and what I can tell you is they seem very well suited, and they make each other very, very happy, which can't be bad. So you two, marriage is something you have to work at. It's not always plain sailing. You will have your ups and downs. And Alex, I've found over the years, as long as you agree with your wife, everything will be okay. <laughs> and remember this phrase, yes, dear. I already have. And happy wife equals happy life. Don't forget, words of wisdom. Lost my space now. Okay. Now, I'll just say, don't get the wrong side of Holly, because you know about it, because she's got a wicked left hook. <laughs> just like her mother, as I found out over the years. Yeah. Anyway, I digest. Unfortunately, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, Donald Trump can't make it tonight. He's booked in for a spray tan. <laughs> and the other fella, what's his name? Jimmy Biden. He's got a farmer dry all swimming up here, neither. <laughs> so, really, he's a bigger pain in the arse than he normally is. <laughs> so, let's have a look around at you lot. <clears throat> I'm sure I've seen most of you on Crime Watch. There's Jill in the corner. She's going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the Mary Berry of Ashbourne. <laughs> I've had a word with a DJ drill, and he's got no Max Bygraves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look who's there. Kath Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> the leader of the Brown in Circle terrorists. <laughs> I see you've used them Greg's bars I've got you for Christmas, haven't you? <laughs> hey? Yeah. You could have, got your, could have got your roots done as well. Look at this, hey, your roots. Hey, yeah, me. <laughs> Cab won't be here too long. She's going to be back home for 7.30 because she's still on tag, so she won't be here long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Emma and Phil's here as well, the newlyweds. Got married 10 days ago. Just back in the country, yeah, been on honeymoon, Afghanistan. <laughs> no postcard off you. Tight arse. All right. And did you know tonight, this is a surprise, we've actually got a professional dancer amongst us. Yes, that's right, Sean Gaynor. <laughs> he actually taught Michael Jackson how to do the moonwalk. He can't wait to strut your stuff on that dance floor. And I can confirm as well, well Bo Duke from the B Dukes of Hazard. Remember Dukes of Hazard? Mm. He's leaving on Sunday, so the roads will be safe on Sunday. But we've not had the best. <laughs> <laughs> we've not had the best of weeks, have we? <laughs> well, enough of all that, cobblers. I'm sure you will all agree. Holly looks lovely today, and Alex is looking very handsome too. Good luck to you two. Enjoy your special day. Your journey starts here. So please raise your glasses to the happy couple, Holly and Alex. Oh. Holly yes. and Alex. <clears throat> There's been so much going on behind the scenes the last few months without Lisa and Laura and the wonderful Hayley. Oh. <laughs> None of this would have happened today. It really wouldn't. So I'd like you to now please raise your glasses to the ladies. The original Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> to the angels. Without further ado, can you please, ladies, collect your flowers? Oh. And thank you so much for all you've done. Pass them over. I don't want to name it. Is that Laura's? 
Okay, yeah, there you go. Well done, Laura. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. And Hayley. <laughs> I will say Hayley has been an absolute superstar. I cannot speak high enough for Hayley. So listen, that's about it, boys and girls. It's time for party time. Make it a night to remember. I can't wait to see you on the dance floor. All right, so enjoy yourselves, right? And it's a very special day, and we're all over the moon and very proud of them. We really are. Can I just add, sorry, go on, here's the clap. Can I just add, when all the speeches are finished, run downstairs because the ice cream man's here and fill your <laughs> boots because there's all sorts of different flavours. Ice cream, fill your boots because he's only here for half an hour, yeah. then he's gone. Me, he, I'm the ice cream man. She, you're right. <laughs> Multitasking. Thank you very much for coming and have a good time. Let's enjoy it. Thank you. I would like to thank everyone here to our special day. Holly looks absolutely beautiful, like she always does. I'm a very proud man. It is such a joy to see two families from two different nations, two different cultures, come together as one family to celebrate. Myself and Holly were two very lonely people before we met. And we have changed each other's lives for the better. And I couldn't be, and I couldn't felt happier or love her more than I do. <laughs> but I couldn't have achieved, but I couldn't have been able to achieve this happiness alone. There are many people in this room I'd like to thank for helping me achieve this happiness that I've been searching for. I'd like to thank my parents for always being there for me for never giving up on me, so they can show me how to be a good son, a good brother, and a good husband. How did that close? That shouldn't have happened. All right. I'd like to thank my mother and father-in-law, Lisa and Steve. For, for welcoming me into the family, to treat me as if I were their own son, and to help arrange this beautiful wedding. I'd like to thank Conrad for not only being my best man, but also being the best brother I could ask for, and being a friend I can always trust and teaching me the value of friendship. All right. Uh, before I continue thanking people, I just need to give you guys a bit of context. I used to be an atheist, and I say used to because my views have changed today for Grandpa's wonderful speech about how God gave us the gift of marriage. So I would like to thank my grandparents who are here tonight for always putting family first, accepting the Baker family into their hearts, to witness Holly be indoctrinated into our beloved family, and to help me refine my Christian faith. I'd like to thank Haley for her kindness. I've had a lot of mentors when I was a teenager and as an adult, lots of them. And some of them were okay, some I didn't get along with, and some, well, we got, were almost good friends, but we just kind of moved on. Haley could have been one of those people for Holly, but she wasn't. She stuck with Holly to the very end and she helped her in a lot of ways, and she's always been there for her. So I would like to thank Haley for her kindness, her love and support,
and accepting me and Holly as if we were her own family. And last but not least, I would like to thank my beloved wife, Holly Gaynor, for always being by my side, for the wonderful memories that we shared, for bringing joy into my life, for giving me a shoulder to cry on, for never leaving me, and for always being my lover, my partner, and my very best friend. Well, uh, we apologize if we don't get around to speaking to everybody today, <laughs> as me and Holly are just not the most sociable people. We don't like people. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like everyone to know that it means so much of us that you came today. Let us all make the most of this wonderful celebration with lots of drinks and food and dancing later on. Hello, I'm Conrad. I'm Alex's brother, best man. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, you're lost. Uh, just <laughs> better luck next time. So, I mean, I'll be over and across the ocean. So, I mean, we'll miss him a lot when he's over here. Um, I did make a promise that um, I didn't tell Alex this, but I'll tell him now. If I do start crying, I'll give you $50. Pounds, sorry, pounds. I'll give you 50 pounds. <laughs> Forget that you're not living here in America. <laughs> but, um, Growing up with Alex, uh, to be completely honest, was a challenge. Um, Alex is a very unique person, you know, with all of his struggles and difficulties in the family and stuff like that. But there's one thing that I could say about Alex that has always just been true. He just cares for people. He just, he, he's a very caring person, even though like sometimes it's just really hard to see it. He will always just try to make people feel better. And I think that's just something that's really true about Alex from literally the day I've always known you. So can we just get a hand for Alex and how much of a loving person he is? And um, so, sorry if I'm just having, you know, not really speaking well. I'm an engineer, not a public speaker. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when I, first heard of Holly when, you know, Alex was talking with her and stuff like that. I didn't really get to get to know her that much. I only get to see her in pictures and just stuff like that. Like I knew that they were, you know, dating over the internet and that that was really cool and it was that. But by the time I got to England, uh, first of all, just I want to just give a thanks to the Bakers for just being just a lovely like in-law family. I just, I'm just so happy to just be a part of your new family now. And I just, so kind, friendly, and just open to, you know, have people stay at your house for just a little bit for like a week. And <laughs> I just, I really appreciate how warming and welcoming you guys are too. They're all of us in their family, so really appreciate that. And you know, growing up, as I was seeing Alex grow older every day, he's just a very unique person. It's like, there's not gonna be another soul just like Alex. And then I flew to England and met Holly. I, I, I swear, he's like a, she is like a second Alex. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's, just like, it's like a clone of Alex and just moved over to England. So I was like, wow, okay, this is another Alex in the family. Sweet. <laughs> but, you know, seeing Alex as he was growing up in home, back home in Minnesota, um, you know, he was, he was struggling. I'll be a little honest, he's, he was struggling growing up and, you know, just kind of making decisions on, you know, like being an adult and things like that. Um, but when I saw you and Holly together, when I came up here, it, it, I'm not even kidding you, it was like I was seeing a different person. You have matured so much after seeing Holly, and you are the happiest I've ever seen you in my life. I just, can we just give a hand for Holly for giving Alex so much joy in his life? And 
And so I just wanted to end the speech where um, just to wish Alex and, uh, okay, first of all, I'm just, I'm really happy to hear that Alex walked back to his faith with God. It's just a wonderful blessing to just hear those words come from Alex, you know, praying every day for that, you know, he would eventually walk back to his faith. So really, really appreciate that, Al. I'm really happy to hear that. Total shocker to me. And because um, I, I really believe that God has just been watching over you, you know, with the accident you had back at home and, you know, living in Duluth for a couple of years and just the difficulties in our family, you never gave up. And that's one thing I would really just say about you is just that you've never given up. You've always pushed through and just strived for your goal and you never look down. You always look up. And that's something I really admire about you is you always look forward. You never look backwards. And so I would like to have a toast for Alex and Holly's new life together in England, away from home. <laughs> Holly and Alex. I got a lot of lessons left to learn. But I'm not even close but Through my inhibition I've become quite sure That I love you the most That this could be the easiest thing if I'd let it But I'm too afraid of losing it all if I leave everything on the table Then you might break my heart But I know a love like this doesn't come around every day And I just can't bring myself to give up right now Not this way Give up right now, not this way, cause I love